Good evening. There were hundreds of people at the meeting tonight representing both sides of this controversial issue. The Chino Valley Unified School Board voting four to one to adopt Assembly Bill 1314, sparking cheers and loud calls for the board president, Sonia Shaw, to resign. The explosive meeting with hundreds of people included signs and outcries from both sides. Oh my God. The crowd spilling into an overflow room, some people standing outside to share thoughts about Assembly Bill 1314, currently in committee. It requires schools to notify parents if their child identifies as transgender, wants to be publicly addressed by a different gender pronoun other than their sex assigned at birth or wants to use facilities of a different gender. The bill's author spoke at the meeting. I saw a trend up and down the state of California in which schools were implementing policies that excluded parents in the affairs of their kids. The opposing side sees the bill much differently. Adopting this resolution will cost lives. Outing queer kids before they are ready will cost lives. Several students spoke at the meeting, including students who identify as LGBTQ. If the parents of a student do not know that their own child is transgender, then it is their own personal problem. This is not a school issue, nor a transgender issue. It is a parenting issue. What will it take for you to understand what pain, what sorrow, what immense trauma we go through daily People on the opposing side countered. If we want them to quit suicide, the number one way to do that is to involve the parents. That we should not be excluded from any life-altering decisions that affect our children. Only one board member voted against adopting the bill. I'm not going to put my vote somewhere where it could actually cause harm. Shaw spoke at the end of the meeting, but not to a quiet crowd. After hearing from both sides at the meeting, Assembly Bill 1314 is now approved in the Chino Valley Unified School District. And there were more than 50 people signed up to speak, but public comment was cut short tonight. Reporting live this evening, I'm Coco McAvoy, Fox 11 News.